So uh, today we'll be checking out the mobile end uh, for the uh, Magento 2 mobile app that has been created using the Magento 2 mobile app builder itself. So basically uh, now you can create a fully native iOS application for your Magento 2 platform based e-commerce store and this app can be published on uh, the Apple uh, App Store with the real-time synchronization of products, categories, customers, orders, etc between the web shop and the mobile application apart from that the uh, from the mobile app itself the customers can browse the products place an order view order details create a new account write reviews move items to wish list and the apart from that the customers can do much more there also we have already shown you the uh, Mobicool mobile app builder for the Magento 2 wherein we showed you how uh, we can create uh, the app for the Android there. So in today's video we'll be seeing how this particular app that we've created for the iOS platform can be viewed by the customers and the workflow of the same. But before we proceed further please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. Apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then kindly do give it a thumbs up. So now I'll just directly take you to the uh, Apple mobile end and I'll be showing you the iOS uh, app for the uh, Magento 2 platform there. So we'll just go through and we'll have a walkthrough of the complete uh, options that we have there. So let's hop on to the mobile end now for the iOS platform itself. So uh, here I'm on, on the iOS uh, end right now and I've already installed the Magento 2 mobile app here for the iOS device. So the one that has this notification is the Mobicool mobile app for the iOS platform. So let me tap that up and uh, let's see how this particular app appears to the customers. So here we can see that the app is there and at the very top on the left hand side we have the notification uh, icon that can be used to check the notifications. On the right hand side we have a search uh, uh, section then we have the cart icon and the very bottom you can see we have the home categories wish list account and we have a more under more we have the website preferences and others so we'll just go through the workflow the same so right now here you can see at the very top that we have the shop by category section wherein we have a number of categories uh, being set up here so for example i want to wish to check the gear category so i'll just tap on that and that would bring up the complete list of uh, products within the gear there or the, within the gear uh, category there and here you can sort uh, the products according to as you can see the position uh, that's low to high high to low the product name a to z and z to a the price low to high and price high to low so for example if i go with the price high to low we'll see that uh, all right that's the low to high actually apart from that you can change the uh, view here by tapping on the grid so this is the uh, list view right now this is the grid view right now let's tap here on the back icon now just uh, below the shop by categories we have the featured products to check the complete list of free, uh, featured products you can tap here on the view all button and that would display the complete uh, featured products within the store itself so here you can see that all of the featured products are now visible within that particular section let's uh, go back and here as well you can uh, check the featured products that are there right now there are around three four five ones that are visible then we have the hot deals being set up so all of this can be set up from the admin backend panel for the Magento 2 mobile using the Magento 2 mobile app builder uh, in the admin backend panel so that after that we have the view all hot deals as you can see then we have the new product section then we have the trending now we have the best offers so we can scroll through them we have the fashion accessories as well we have the daily deals be, uh, being available for the customers there and in the last we have the recently weight products so these two products i had checked so that uh, that's why they are under the recent weight products at the very bottom we have the back to top option so if i tap on that i'll be taken to the top of the uh, mobile application home page now that was the home and on the bottom if you see now let's tap on the categories and that brings up the complete list of categories within the uh, magento 2 web store itself so here you have 
men's and uh, under men's we have tops bottoms and we have the other products as well same goes for the gears if i tap on the gears all of the products uh, under that particular category would be displayed as you can see we have bags we have fitness equipments watches and more so that was about the categories then we have the wish list no so if uh, a customer is adding to the products into the wish list and they'll be visible under the wish list section as you can see from here you can uh, move the products into the cart to make a checkout as well uh, one by one or you can uh, tap on the add all to cart button and all of the products would be added into the cart there so right now we need to choose the options first for the products only after that we can add them to the cart there so that was about the wish list coming to the account section i'm already logged in so let's uh, log out of the account first so uh, here on the account uh, section we have the sign in option we have the compare products order and returns now to sign in i'll just tap here on the sign in button and here we can make use of uh, the uh, social accounts uh, uh, or we can create an account from here or if we already have an account and we are registered then we can tap on the sign in with email button uh, enter our username or the email and the password and then tap here on the sign in button and thereafter we'll be logged in successfully uh, on our I, on our ios device here using the emergency to mobile application so i'll just choose it as no for that so i've been logged in now under the account we have the dashboard compare products orders downloadable products product reviews address book and the account information so under the dashboard we can find the details of the customer there and the recent orders that the customer has uh, placed from here you can check view all orders by tapping here on the view all orders on the bottom for each of the orders you can check the details of the order reorder and you can make a review as well now after the recent orders uh, we have the address tab here you can find the addresses that you have uh, saved and then we have the review section where you can find the complete reviews that you have placed for the orders uh, or the products that you have purchased now under the recent orders here if i want i can check the details of any order the order number 151 so if i tap here on the details i'll be able to find the complete details of the order as you can see right now and from here as well we can reorder a particular product so uh, let's see how we can uh, place an order for a uh, product uh, so for that i'll just uh, go to the home page and let's open this particular product that we have and uh, from here uh, what we can do is i'll just choose the se sex selection here we have the add to cart button as well as the buy now button so if i tap on the buy now button i'll be directly taken to the checkout uh, there's no need to add the product first to the cart and then make a checkout so the buy now button makes it easier for the customers to quickly make a purchase so for now i'll just tap here on the add to cart button and uh, the product would be added into the cart as you can see and on the product page if i scroll down i have the details more info for the product as well and from here we can add the product into the wish list by tapping here on the wish list uh, if i want i can compare it by tapping on the compare i have the share option as well so if i tap on the share option we'll be able to share the same now uh, i've added the product into the cart let me tap here on the cart right now we are on the cart itself and from here we can apply the discount coupons if we have you can remove an item you can move the item into the wish list uh, here we have the subtotal order total and uh, let's tap here on the proceed at the bottom right hand corner and here we'll have to choose the shipping method i'll just choose it as fixed one proceed now on the review and payment section here i'll have to choose my payment method and then tap on the proceed button to place the order very easily so you can see that the order would be placed and we also can see a notification uh, message there at the top uh, that we have received and uh, as soon as the order gets placed we can check the order details as well so the order has been placed if i want i can check the orders so what i can do is uh, i'll just uh, tap here on the continue shopping uh, let me cancel that out let me go to my account and here i'll go to the orders section and here's the order number 152 that i've just uh, placed as you can see for 65 dollars there now let's go back so that was how we can uh, place the orders uh, using the magento 2 mobile application on your ios device um, 
I've shown you the wish list, the category section, the home page, and here are the customer profile section. And here we have different uh, uh, sections as well. The dashboard was showing all of the recent orders and more. Uh, under the compare products, we'll have the products that we have uh, added for comparison. As you can see here, I've added around three, four products. And according to that, uh, here you can see the SKU for each of them. And uh, the description being shown, the short description, the activity. So let's go back. Under orders, you have seen already, I've uh, shown you the order that we just placed. Under the downloadable products, you'll find uh, the complete list of downloadable product types that you've purchased. And from here, you can download them by tapping on the download button. Uh, then you have the product reviews. From here, you can find the complete list of reviews that you've already made on the products there. Let's go back. Then we have the address book. Here you'll find the complete addresses that you have already added. To add a new address, you can tap here on the add new address button. And that brings up the add new address section. And here you can fill in the details and you can save the same as required. So let's go back. And under the account information here, we can uh, basically change our first name, last name, or we can change the email. If you uh, want to change, you can just enable that up then uh, you can change the email you can change the password by enabling the change password so you can enter the the uh, current password the new one and you can confirm and then you can tap on the save button to save the same so that was the uh, section of the customers and how the customers uh, can uh, basically view the uh, different options under their account panel Coming to the more section here, we have the different websites uh, and we can uh, shift between the ones that we uh, are having right now. Apart from that, we can make change uh, to the currencies as well. So initially it was in US dollars. We can change it uh, into uh, the uh, Saudi uh, real as well. So uh, after making the change here, let's go back. Now here you can see that uh, AED is the new currency that we had uh, chosen under the more section that's the united uh, arab emirates dirham i'm sorry for that so same you can change it to euro as well so if i made the changes now if i log in it will automatically log in uh, us uh, back and next 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 and done and now you can see that it's in euros right now so uh, that's how you can make the changes same goes for the language it uh, supports ltr and uh, rtl languages both we were checking english uh, we can change it to arabic german spanish so if i go for arabic you can see that uh, the complete uh, mobile application would be transformed into an r to l or right to left and uh, you can see that uh, now it's completely changed uh, next so you can see now uh, it's in arabic language so that's how easily you can change the language uh, as well uh, no issues with that so uh, that was about the language change and uh, on the bottom left end i'll just tap there and uh, if i want i can change the language back to english so we'll have uh, to just tap here on the next 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 done we're back onto the mobile application here now let's go to the more section apart from that under the preferences we have the settings if i tap on that here you can enable to receive the notifications the one that, that you just saw a moment ago you can also track and show in re recent history so here from here you can uh, enable your search history and let me cancel that out under the others you can add uh, or you can view the uh, privacy policy of the company the about us uh, the uh, customer service or you can also contact uh, them uh, by tapping on the contact us option that you can see in the last there so these were the options of the uh, magento 2 mobile app uh, builder that we have used for creating the uh, native uh, ios app for your magento 2 platform based e-commerce store and this mobile application is for the ios uh, devices as i've already told you so yes that was uh, much about the app itself so uh, that was much about the magento 2 mobile application for the uh, ios platform there and i hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of this particular uh, mobile application that we have created using the magento 2 mobicool mobile app builder plugin so if you still have any questions, queries, suggestions, or requirements, then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com, raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com. Apart from that, you can also contact us through https colon forward slash forward slash 
www.webcool.com forward slash contacts and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead